Hi everyone, Scorp here, continuing the Capsule Monster Coliseum Libra mod Thunder playthrough. Uh, today we have Odeon on deck. Um, honestly, Odeon's one of those people that probably should have had a second appearance in the King Coliseum. He's just that powerful. But honestly, once is enough. This, this guy's pain. So. At least we're playing Thunder, so the two lights aren't that yeah. big of a deal. Um, and then I should have powerful enough darks to maybe two-shot some of these Earths. He can go first, I don't really care. It's kind of unfortunate because he does get over here pretty quick. But he gets over here with fun, with lights first, so. Um, oh, I still need to level Blast Juggler. Oh. Say it ain't so. I would really have liked to use Summon Skull and some other expensive stuff. Oh no. I may not be uh, using that Blast Juggler. Because it's really expensive. If only I needed to level one of these uh, Exodia pieces. Um, that's two thunders, which is plenty. Guess I'm bringing a Karibo <laughs> and going to attempt to level it. I guess. I oh, know this is a this is a bad idea. I I don't know why I'm putting that Karibo aggressive. Uh, let's see here. Um, one of these two is by far the most squishy. Um, I know this is the diagonal that time is done. Also, Blast Triggler hates this field. I, it has a little fire in it, but not nearly enough to be useful. Um, this can probably go on this diagonal. Oh man. Mission to make Blast Juggler about a quarter of the MP cost that it's already at. I mean, that's one of the main reasons I didn't use it on my win playthrough. <laughs> the thing costs too much. Not to mention it wasn't a great piece, but... Your piece costing too much is also a problem. Oh, let's get some Karibo summoned. Uh, I don't care to do the math. This is close enough to those two thunders up there. It's the same plus AP. I just didn't want to add their APs together to see which one is actually worth more.
Uh, how tanky is this? Oh yeah. I forgot just how much Thunders hate this field. That's good damage. Better damage than that, that's for sure. Um, this is going back here because, um, this gazelle can kill it. <laughs> um, I'm moving Karibo over there so that <clears throat> that piece doesn't, uh, gazelle can't get to the square and kill this. Instead, it just gets to hit my symbol, or that Karibo. Preferably my symbol. level. Good. Now I don't have to use this thing ever again. Other than the, um, the leveling it part, or the fusing it part, but that doesn't have to be done in campaign. If we get through this fight quickly, I'll I can easily put that into uh, I can do that at the end of this video. Um, not that it's much help anymore, but I can put perfect block on this. Um, now that my thunders are not needed and it's just a dark show. Hi, Odeon. I left you no room to counterattack because you literally overextended so unbelievably badly. I don't think I've honestly used a uh, barrel dragon this much in a long time. It does have quite a bit of attack, so it is nice. Its special is worthless. But... Who's grading this piece on its special? Yay, 
Man, these are in the wrong order. Guess I'm getting my Braille Dragon hit. This is 225 attack. <sighs> I actually have to protect that Karibo. Hmm. Does a lot of damage. Well, this was absolutely brutal. Um, I'm gonna quickly go into free duel and do the fusion for Cybersaurus. Because that was really quick. This Karibu got to level 3! Now watch, this Blast Juggler is going to be level 6. Oh, almost made it. I'll take the Destroyer Golem and Mega Zowler because this is the only place to get them. Um, just for the rest of this, I'm going to speed it up. Go to the versus mode, pick what we just saved, pick anything. Just go here, here.
Okay, um, as you can see, this piece fuses into something pretty decent. I'm just gonna go ahead and save so thanks everybody for watching and have yourselves a nice day